In this analysis, we um, looked to get a better understanding of what the impact of a diagnosis of DCIS might help have on women's so general well-being, so to speak, with regards to um, health care. And so we do know um, that women with DCIS might overestimate their risk of recurrence. And we do know that the women with DCIS have treatment with breast surgery, often with radiation therapy and endocrine therapy. And uh, there hasn't been a lot of data on the impact of the DCIS diagnosis, the impact of the potential overestimation of recurrence risk, the overestimation of dying of breast cancer. And so we used a population-based um, uh, an analysis to evaluate um, a num a num healthcare utilization or health services utilization as a measure of the impact of DCIS diagnosis, as a measure of potentially the impact of the diagnosis on the health and well-being of women. And so we identified women with DCIS and uh, matched to women without a diagnosis. And we looked to see what their health services utilization or their health care behavior was prior to DCIS and post um, compared to the controls. And specifically, we wanted to look at um, really important measures such as the development of anxiety and depression and significant anxiety and depression as measured by physician visits with anxiety and depression code, emergency room visits, hospitalizations related to anxiety and depression, psychiatric visits. We looked at general visits to family doctors uh, that were related to breast diagnostic codes, um, anxiety and depression, as I mentioned. We looked at the use of surgery, the use of breast surgery and other surgery, and another, a bunch of other measures to just gain a sense, breast imaging, of what was happening to women with DCIS before after the diagnosis relative to what their behavior was pre-diagnosis and compared to women unaffected by DCIS. And what we found was that women who were diagnosed with DCIS post-diagnosis had greater utilization of breast surgery, breast imaging, which is understandable. They're heightened concerned about getting breast cancer or have symptoms related to breast cancer that led to more mammograms, ultrasounds, biopsies, and ultimate surgical procedures relative to what that was pre-diagnosis and relative to women without the diagnosis. That's not unexpected, but we kind of quantify that in that paper. What we did not see, fortunately, is a difference in significant uh, physician visits, emergency room visits, and hospitalizations related to anxiety and depression, and, and uh, related to a whole host of what's written in the paper of these other um, measures of health and well-being. And so that was the essence, is trying to better understand what is the, the impact of the diagnosis of DCIS having on women and their sense of, their general sense of well-being. 